everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all super well today. So, as you can see, I'm wearing an extremely long wig. How unreal is this? It's amazing. This wig is from Temper Hair. I'll pop a link below. It is a human hair lace wig. And yeah, I've stuck it all down and I've prepped it for this video. Well, sort of prepped it because I am going to be giving it a bit of a wave in a second. So, I saw something super cool on Instagram whilst I was at Coachella. So, I love looking for inspiration on Instagram for hairstyles, for makeup, and I always look for like quirky things. And because it was Coachella and the festival season, I've started kind of trying to find inspiration on videos that I want to create for you guys. And I always try and kind of give my twist on things, but on this, I'm basically copying it because this girl's idea is so cool, I had to share it with you. So there's a hairstylist on Instagram called at Justine Marjan. And yeah, she's got quite a lot of followers actually. So I'm surprised I haven't heard of her before. I think she was working with a brand at Coachella doing people's hair. Anyway, I'll insert a couple of pictures because honestly, the looks that she does are unreal. Like they're so quirky and I feel like they're a bit of me. So I'm gonna get inspired by this photo today. And as you can see, she's basically made her own kind of hair accessories out of safety pins. So I've gone on eBay, purchased lots of different coloured beads, purchased the little alphabet bead letters and some safety pins, and I've made some beads. I'm going to show you guys how to make one quickly. It's so super easy. Uh, yeah, and then you can just get everything off eBay and it's really, really cheap. And then I'm going to show you a little way of how you can apply them into your hair, basically getting inspired by Justine Marjan's work. So, let's get into this video. So first of all, I'm going to give my hair a bit of a wave. I love to kind of give my wigs a bit of a wave, especially for festivals, just because it just adds something else to the look. And yeah, I just feel like it just adds volume and I love wavy hair. So I've got this Babyliss Boutique big curling wand straightening thing. I don't know what you call it. Like a wave curler? Anyway, I'll pop a link below and then you'll be able to see what it's actually called. So I'm going to use this on my hair just to give it a nice wave. So let's get curling. <laughs> guys my hair is all wavy now how fab does it look it's super easy to use that babyliss waver so yeah i'll pop a link below if you're interested in checking it out oh my god this wig is amazing like the hair is so long right now on to the little hair clips so i will show you some that i've already done and then i'm going to show you how you can make them 
so here are some i made earlier so as you can see i have got a silver safety pin and then I've just bought some really, really cute, like crystally kind of beads in like a pinky red and a lilac and also a chain. So on some of them, I have added a chain in just so like it hangs down. I think it's like a really cute addition and chains are super trendy at the moment for like braiding and things like that. So yeah, added a chain to this one. Then I've got this one that says my name. If we can see. Wait, is it upside down? No. Here we go. So this one says Soph. How cute is that? So I've made that one literally just putting on the beads back to front on the safety pin. And then I've got this one here, which I've basically made with just some really cute lilac-y, crystal -y kind of beads. And then I've got I've got such like a range of different ones and you can just get really creative and like mix and match the beads and stuff. So here's another one that I've done. If it will focus. Gamma. So this one is like lilac and pink. There we go. Super cute. So I've done like two pink, two lilacs. So yeah, you can have a lot of fun with it and just like alternate the beads. And yeah, so I'm gonna make one or two now for you guys to see the process. So let's get making some hair glue. <laughs> My clips ready I can start the hair tutorial so all I'm going to do is just add in some little plaits on this side of my hair so let's get going <laughs> this is the finished look what do we think oh my god i'm loving it it's such a simple festival hair look but 
it's like so effective like it's so creative and quirky also i love the additions of these chains i think they look so cool really cool so pleased with how this turned out i found it a little tricky to put the safety pins in and i noticed that when i put some in the words flipped the other way were back to front so i just had to take the beads off and basically twist the safety pin round and reapply the beads so just a little tip there if you do try this out uh but yeah oh my god i'm loving it what do we think please leave your comments below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it obviously you've got lots more festival inspiration for you guys this season because it's nearly uk festival season so it means i can churn out a lot more festival content and yeah it's it's one of my favorite times of year so thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you in another video here very soon peace out